Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in today's video, I'm going to show how you can use camera properties in Autodesk Showcase to create a much more dramatic rendering that will really grab your audience's attention. So, let's take a look. Our tools are located on the View, Camera Properties pull down, and here we can see where all these little gems are located. So let's go ahead and take them one at a time. First, focal length. I'm going to grab the slider and move it between telephoto and wide angle. As I do that, you can see how it changes the perspective of the scene, creating a much more dramatic effect and something that can look much more interesting than just kind of the standard CAD view that many of us are used to. In the next section, we have image control. I can start with presets from the pull-down, and these can change the tone mapping of the scene. I can also go through and adjust the compensation of the scene manually, and this is basically like your camera exposure. I can also bring out or subdue my highlights, bring out or subdue my mild tones, and then also make my shadows darker or brighter. Next, we have Saturation, Color Filter, and White Point. By dragging the slider on Saturation, I can make the colors brighter and more vibrant, or I can make them darker, all the way to Monochrome if I drag it all the way down to the Zero setting. Here's where you can shift the feel of your scene and make it more subdued or more vibrant, depending on the look you're after. Next, we have Color Filter, and this changes the color that's mapped to white. And by moving that, that around to different colors and different settings, we can get a different warm or cooler or just different filter effect on the scene. Finally, we have White Point, and this is the white balance of the scene. By dragging that slider backward and forward, you can shift the colors around and get a cooler or warmer look, like indoor or outdoor lighting, for example. Next, we'll switch to the Position tab and talk about some of the tools here. The first is Camera Tilt. By tilting the camera just a couple of degrees even, you can really get the rendering to jump out. It's the difference between your audience looking at the rendering and saying, that's neat, versus, wow, that's really cool. Try throwing a couple of degrees of tilt in there. It'll be amazed how much of a difference it makes. Next, you can move the camera position and just shift it around. Try looking at the model from angles you wouldn't normally expect to see it. You're trying to be dramatic, so come up with something interesting. You can do the same with look at position. Just shift the camera and try different angles. It'll really make the scene jump. So that's it for this one. So try these different tricks you can do with the camera and the position of cameras. It'll really make the rendering jump. Remember, Showcase was designed to augment the camera shoot. So look at how photographers use their cameras to create dramatic photos and use those tricks in Showcase. They all apply. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.